Hi my loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. It is October 31st, but this is a timeless collective reading, okay? This could be past, present, or future. You guys, I'm gonna just say right now, this message is not going to be for everyone. I've been receiving a, a download for several days. And I, I feel like bits and pieces of whatever this is that's happening has been coming out for several months, actually. Um, whatever this is that, that is occurring, but something is completely over. Again, this is not everyone's message. If you are someone who does not want to hear about a warning or awareness or whatever, we are currently in an eclipse season. Today is Halloween. There is a lot of dark energy People who have done the work, you are safe, you are protected, but you do need to be aware of things. All right. I just cut the deck. The emperor is here in the four of cups. I feel like there is possibly a masculine energy that could be male or female. Someone that you have put boundaries up. I just saw the queen of swords. Yeah. Somebody is in trouble. Okay. Something here is coming to an end. It is very, very clear that someone here has been trying to prevent a door to happiness okay a healing fulfillment in your life from opening by constantly trying to block you stop you or trap you in some type of way i'm hearing isolation someone has wanted you in isolation someone has been monitoring you someone is very upset about how your life is and I, i'm assuming that this is someone from the past yeah ten of swords I, i'm telling you i feel this all over me i have been up until 7 a.m for the last two nights I go, like my sleeping and everything is completely off justice someone is is devastated someone knows that they they've missed the mark or an opportunity here the world and this was all about keeping you stuck or blocked or trapped in some type of way the lovers this could have been someone that you had some type of soulmate connection with a contract with okay but someone here yeah some there's a door closing and another one opening scorpio season endings and new beginnings they're taking place at the same time but there is for sure judgment and justice being served here to a masculine who has done a lot behind the scenes okay the queen of swords is here this has everything to do with you creating boundaries cutting something out seeing something at face value and moving forward as i've told you guys in, a, in some of the readings and I've been trying to stay away from posting readings. I've been gone for nearly three months, but this energy is lingering. And every time I take a hiatus and I come back, this energy is still comes back in. But something is coming to a complete close. It's being eclipsed out. That's the good thing. But whatever this is, I, I feel like when you find out the truth about it, if you are able to find out the whole truth about it, it's going to be a bit devastating but it was something that was necessary okay i'm getting a lot of setup vibes a lot of lying just um this is something that came into your life to rob steal kill and destroy i feel like you made it okay kudos congratulations blessings to you but something has been in the background it has been orchestrated to hurt you harm you and you or someone that you know and this has been something that has been ongoing i'm hearing that this is something that has been going on for four months or four years possibly longer somebody yeah here we here we have it it's there's a lover here i feel who has tried to delay new love from coming in your life to the point that they've been willing to sacrifice you or something you have the hierophant here someone who could be very religious or very spiritual this is someone here who is under some type i'm getting like this person is under some type of teaching um this person is following some type of leadership of some sort so this could be a cult or, or some type of group or coven or something like that i've gotten a lot of channel messages but i honestly um i'm just trying to stay away from some of the more dark stuff if i can the nine of cups whatever this is i don't feel like you I fully aware but I feel like you're you're trying to stay very very focused at this time on being in this energy of love and light and minding your business really being at peace here okay and as a result of that the six of pentacles is here it's like the good seeds that you planted you're going to get those back you're about to be like quickly pushed into wish fulfillment happiness 
um, making changes in your family. I'm getting here where it's just like it's time now for you to have this happiness. Somebody has literally been trying to trap your entire your life. I feel like someone has had your life. It, like someone has been playing like God in your life. They've literally been orchestrating things in your life to stop you from having an awakening. Someone didn't want you to awaken because by you awakening, it's something about a soul contract here. Okay. And, and I've have a lot of readings about like a, an ancient love story. Somebody didn't want you to awaken to the truth of who you were, because obviously if your soul awakens, the soul of your twin flame will also awaken. Um, I don't like to talk too much about twin flames, but this energy has been coming up. This, this is definitely some type of like royal couple. Uh, like it's a, it's an it's like an ancient love story or something here. It's a love that goes beyond any type of understanding. And I mean, I've heard stories about different gods and goddesses and things like that. This definitely gives me the vibes of like Isis and Osiris. It's like someone didn't want you to realize that like they weren't your person because if you were to realize that you haven't been with your person so okay let me explain it this way what this is like is um if you're if you recently went through an awakening or even if you've been through an awakening in the last few years four years ten years however long You've gone through a, a like a massive awakening. You could have thought for a long time that someone was your person, but you had not tapped into who you were perhaps in a past life. And I know everyone doesn't believe in past lives, but that's what I'm getting here. You had not realized that you had another contract with someone in a past life that you're supposed to be with in this lifetime. Somebody has been trying to operate as if they are you or they are your actual counterpart. So that they could enjoy the benefits. Someone, and I've, I have so many readings about this. Someone has been living their life with your energetic signature. Like they've been using your energy to manifest everything in their life. This is someone that you cross paths with. And I've said this before. It's like you've crossed paths with the devil himself before. This is someone from the very beginning since the first time they saw you, they knew who you were. This could be a person who is a very powerful witch, wizard, warlock. They have a very, very strong gift of, like they could be a psychic, they're a seer. They're very, very powerful. I have, I'm telling you, you can go back and, and just look at my, look through my, I have so many readings about a lot of people. You have a counterpart that has been waiting on you. You had to go through an awakening, but you ran across someone on your journey who was already awakened. They knew who you were, but you didn't. And one of the last readings I did before I left when I was talking about what the divine feminines have gone through. Some divine feminines, you have been tortured by these karmic soulmates. Some of them are from past lives. Their whole purpose and the point of them being in your life was to stop you from getting to your true twin. Somebody did not want you to wake up to who you are because, again, if you wake up to who you are, you wake up your person. If you think about the story of Isis and Osiris, if you know it, when Osiris was tricked into pretty much being, going into a box where Seth actually sent him away, killed him, chopped up his body, Isis had to then go and literally get all the pieces of his body. She had to heal. She had to deal with other healers. There was so much that she had to do to pretty much bring him back to life because they had a purpose. This is sort of like, I feel for somebody here, what I'm, what I'm getting very clearly, the images that I'm seeing, somebody has been operating in your life as if they are your masculine and they're not. Okay. Either it's that, or you have met your masculine and someone else is, is around you and they are trying to act as though th there is a fraud here. I have another read and it's interesting how all my messages right now, like spirit is, is reminding me of things that I've said because I feel like we've been following this same story for a long time and we're finally at the climax of it. There's two truths and a lie. Okay. If you think about the story of even um, Isis, Osiris and Seth, Osiris and Isis were brother and sister. 
they had a, a I mean, they, they were all siblings. Like they had a relationship that went beyond any understanding. They were like, they were brother and sister. I mean, they were twins. Like, and then you have the, like this other person here that is so jealous and envious of this relationship, this bond. And, and I mean, literally it, it's, it's a story of just greed, jealousy, evil, it's wickedness, but it happens and it happens. You guys right there in the family. Some of you, this is, this could be a family member, but for a lot of you, it's like, this is a lover, but you, their family or your family could be in on this. I don't know. This is like a real, like some wicked tales here, but I, I don't, I don't know. I'll look seven of swords and here's the magician. Someone here has used so much magic and manipulation to cause issues in your life. This is someone possibly from your past or like I said, from a past life. This is someone that you could have known since childhood. Okay. Don't necessarily have to, but they're again, going back to like that story that I just mentioned, this person has like somebody wants to be you or they want to be your partner and they're obsessed with it. But I, I feel like the what I really feel is like someone has been, like I said, operating as if they are you in your person's life or someone in your life has been acting as though they are your person or there is someone coming in trying to act like they're your person. Take it however it resonates. It's going to be different for everyone. It depends on where you are in your, your journey. So you, you'll just have to really figure that part out but there's this trickster energy that um is coming to an end and the reading that i did yesterday or the day before i was talking about someone conjuring up an entity and this entity you know is like a curse or whatever it is but someone has for sure did something to trick you into not remembering your past or your past life or something about yourself to cause delays in a union or a partnership. And in the collective, everybody's talking about, you know, these different setups, family member setups. Th this is like a past life situation. It's like an ancient story. It it's the, like the reincarnation of, of gods and goddesses. Like it's real. It's in full effect right now. Because if you think about Isis, Osiris, and and Seth, I mean, Seth pretty much set up his own brother to take his 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 throne. And you know, keep in mind also that divine feminine can be a man. Okay, divine masculine can be a woman. There's some some women who are embodying the energy of Osiris. You've had people who are trying to get rid of you because they want your spot. This could be friends, family member, or your lover that is literally trying to get rid of you in order to take your spot. That's why there's been so many attacks against certain people because of these unions for those people who resonate with this energy. I'm getting two for some, some, um, divine feminines. I, if I'm not mistaken, like with. Isis, Isis was, um, it was like, she was, she was pretty, like, she, she helped a lot of Kings. Okay. She, she was a teacher. Like she helped Kings and, and women. Like she helped everyone. Some of you, you wonder, well, why is it that you always go through so much? It's because that's just a part of your purpose. You're destined to be this helper you're destined to be a teacher a healer okay but you've had someone in the midst the whole time trying to sabotage you someone that you saw as family as a lover or whatever they either wanted to take your spot or wanted to take the place of your actual partner The two of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. Yeah, someone here has been juggling, playing both sides, 
causing instability here. This was all part of a plot and a plan to have you left out in the cold. And interestingly enough, in this card here, you see a woman and a son here. It looks like a male child. Isis and Osiris had Horus. Isis had to find Osiris and literally put all the parts of his body back together. Using magic, right? And, and, and once she was able to put him back together, they had a son. I have plenty of readings about this divine couple who are supposed to together, come together and have this son. Somebody did not want you to realize that you were embodying that type of energy. Here, this lady is out in the cold with a child. In the story, it's like once Isis has Horus, she still has to always do a lot to protect Horus because many people, the reason why you're going through so much, if you resonate with this story, with this energy, what you are meant to birth. And I mean, take it how it resonates. If you're meant to have a business, a child, a family or whatever it is, somebody does not want that to happen. Okay. Isis had to protect Horus against all kinds of stuff. Wow. What is this? The high priestess. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are embodying this high priestess energy. You have this magic within you. So maybe you have, you could, you know, bring things back to life with your sacred wisdom and knowledge. Someone is trying to hold you back because the thing about it is, if you've been stuck in a certain level of consciousness right now and you've been giving life to a soulless being that you perhaps loved and thought was your person, they're trying to hold you back, okay? Four of Pentacles, like I said, isolate you, bind you, strip you of all kind of magic or whatever it is that you have because they don't want you to find your true partner. Because if you find your true partner, we say Osiris-like energy, that means that this person will have to get off their throne. It's like it's like going home and somebody is in your shoes and your robe and you're like, why are you here? That's the that's that's the energy here. Like wow. Four of Cups. Someone is stressed about you having this passion and new beginning. So it, it doesn't matter what it is, you know, it resonates differently for everyone, but there is something that you're coming into. Okay. And what it, it look at this queen of cups. She's carrying a child. You're birthing something. If you get a particular reward or some type of recognition, like I said, for some, whether it's a relationship, a business, a baby, a car a house or whatever, someone knows that their reign in your life is over, but they're a fraud anyway. This fraud is being exposed. Yeah, somebody here is going to be forced to go back at square one. But it's worse than that. Like this is this energy. Yeah, here we have it. The sun and the moon. This is a this is like a twin flame union here with the three of wands. It's something that you manifested. It was destined. The three of wands is your ships coming in. This is yin and yang. This is feminine and masculine energy. This is you balancing your own feminine and masculine energy, but you being Go, you actually going into union the feminine the masculine the dark the light yin and yang this is union here and somebody knows that if you go into union that's it and again for some people it's not about a couple it's you going into union with yourself so if you've done the shadow work the healing you've healed certain things in your life your inner child is out you know exactly who you are you know where you came from and you know where you're going you get to manifest exactly what you want and that is bringing in love and forward movement in your life, the chariot, the wheel of fortune, it's destined here. Look at this king of wands here. He has a map. You're locating your person or your person has located you. Your soul has been calling out to somebody and this is bringing a tower to someone. And like everything is bringing a tower. I feel like you're going to suddenly 
inherit a lot because of justice being served, but your beginning is the, the end for somebody else. Yeah. Queen of Wands, you're going to be able to be very, very beautiful, successful, ambitious, and assertive. You, you taking charge in a situation is the reason why you're being crowned as the divine feminine and the fact that you have this high priestess energy. And the King of Swords is still, you know, this like almost like military like person has been coming up in these readings this king of swords and i've been saying for almost a year somebody is watching you in the 5d this is the energy of osiris like i'm not there with you sweetie but you have to still remember me you had to come into a certain level of self-awareness and awakening within yourself to be able to tap into this person and i did a reading a few days ago where i was saying some of you it's like you met a person and you had to separate this could have been somebody that you weren't actually in a relationship, but this was your actual true counterpart. You met them and they had to quickly go away because magic and other things were being used in the background to get rid of them. This entity, the magic, the manipulation, there are little like, and last week I was getting channel messages about hate crimes. There are people who hate these divine unions that to the point they're doing all of this magic. I had readings back in February where I was talking about the huge mind control spells, the domination spells and everything else that were being done to twin flames to block spiritual babies. This, all of that energy has been going on all this year. And there are people, what I was seeing, who have been doing rituals since the Lion's Gate portal. Because the energy was so, so powerful and that's a, a very good time to manifest. These people have been doing ritualistic work and sacrifices all year but especially since around like august like this is a lot of moon magic and other stuff that's being done yeah look at this these people have been so creative working together gossiping and everything to try to put you in this ten of swords energy this was to ruin you so that you wouldn't have any peace, balance, or harmony because you have to have a state of peace, balance, harmony, and be of love in order for you, in the law of attraction, of course, for you to receive good news. So somebody has been trying to just wreak havoc in your life and cause all of this destruction and turmoil because if they did that, you would not have this breakthrough and have a brand new beginning and go into union, whether it's with yourself, celebrating, like I said, a new beginning in your life or you actually being with a counterpart that you would do all of this with. Somebody, like I said, is purposely doing things to try and break your heart. And I've been saying this for months. But six of wands here, you're going to have the victory and the success. The page of pentacles. Somebody here is getting news that like you are fully aware of what they're doing. You put up boundaries. You block this person out. Seven of wands. So their efforts to try to sabotage you, target you while you're minding your own business and they're working with the devil. You're too strong for this. You're seeing past all of the illusions because you were able to go through an awakening just in time. And you have angels, guys, and ancestors that are coming in and they are blocking whatever this is. Something is your birthright. You've been called to do something within your family, within your lifetime. I have readings about that too. The double mission. As above, so below. Somebody has been trying to kill you spiritually and I really feel like they are about to be in some serious trouble here in the actual 3D. I don't know if somebody was paid to watch you or to monitor you or like this king of cups here could be um if you think about what what is it um is osiris called like the god of the underworld like i said it's, it's somebody has been watching you and they have an offer for you and this will go the king of cups will go with the queen of cups the queen of cups is carrying the, 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 the child, the new beginning. She's the one with the fertility. I have other readings on the woman with the golden womb. It all makes sense. Now there is an offer here. This, this masculine has to be with this feminine to make this offer, this deposit, because this child has to be born. I, I get the feeling like somebody is, is just about like hiding away right now because it's like, in the story, if you discover this masculine, which I feel a lot of you have discovered this person already, this person is 
in your life or they're in your, I'm hearing they're in your vicinity. This person is very close to you. They're watching you closely spiritually, but you, I feel a lot of people have crossed paths with whoever this is that you're meant to be with. This person is close enough to you physically to be able to help you if they need to. But I'm telling you, they watch you like a hawk spiritually. And the reading that I did a few days ago, I was saying for some of you, you've met this person. You could not come together because whatever this was in the background with this person, with all of these ill intentions, that had to be taken care of. There is another layer to this story. Somebody here has eyes on you. Spiritual eyes. But but there's other things that are being watched and monitored as well. But spirit is telling me I'm not going to even put that out here. If you know, you, you will know. But some yeah, the plan backfired. Somebody thought that they that everything was. Somebody thought that they actually had gotten away with murder, and they didn't. Four swords here. Somebody thought they had gotten away with putting something to rest. They didn't. That's why people have been up all night because you can you're spiritually your soul can tell somebody is doing something to you. I have been up until 7 a.m. for two nights in a row. Somebody is working really, really hard to try to get away with something. This plan has already backfired and it was a plan to keep someone blocked, stuck and unable to walk on their journey towards their path, towards their actual divine masculine. Yeah, somebody worked very hard. On this connection but you have two people who worked harder on making sure that they were able to come together for this connection this is a whole hate crime this is a secret society group a coven or something that has been working overtime to do this yeah but these this ritual here is over it's over it's not it, it can't work this plan has completely backfired and somebody knows that they're disappointed and now they're somewhere running around paranoid and scared and don't know what to do Hmm. that's crazy man that's crazy but so, yeah, look at this i just looked at this deck hold on this other deck here look the knight of swords somebody is taking action quickly and what's underneath that the lovers it also with the shadow work the healing and everything else once again i'm just i'm just mentioning things you can go through my readings and find what jumps out at you based on the title there is a connection that's coming in so fast because the only thing that had to be done was for a particular energy to be cleared out. And that's automatically going to eliminate someone. We are all spirit spirits in, in just living a human life. But there are certain energies and, and, and spirits that are lurking around from past lives that with the, I feel strongly with this eclipse, they're not going to survive. Some of you right now, you're being called to stay away from certain people because that person's mask is soon going to fall off and you're going to realize they're not who you thought they were. People are walking around. They're your friends, your family, your lovers. Who you see in physical form is not who's in that body. Something had to be cleared out. You had to heal something. I've been talking about cleaning out the closet, getting to the root of something that was blocking your third eye from opening and you seeing the truth of who you are, what you are and what you're meant to be because that has happened for the people who have done the work because everybody hasn't done the work. I mean, this is very, very, very serious, like extremely powerful type of energy. It's not for, for the weak at all. Something is coming in fast and it's this contract that was always there to begin with this here. Someone is royal. You're inheriting something. This is tangible. This is a tangible offer that someone is received. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just, I wasn't, I'm done with the reading. I just picked this deck up. The lovers is here. The queen of pentacles, the ten of pentacles is, this is you inherit. I have a reading where I said all of the pain was there for you to inherit an empire. Your masculine is coming in, but it's actually, he's coming back in because if you resonate with Osiris, this, whatever this masculine is coming into, it was always his anyway. He just has been sent off to the underworld because somebody has done so much magic to practically kill this person and, and send them away. 
And again, for some people, Osiris is actually a woman in this lifetime. I'm hearing um, in the NDR song where she says, back then, maybe back then I was, what did she say? Maybe back then I was his husband. Maybe he was my wife. Some of you, the roles have reversed. I have readings on that as well. Some of you are divine masculines who are women and vice versa. So there are women out here who are actually embodying the energy of like Osiris. Whatever you're getting now, it was always yours anyway. You're returning to your throne that was taken from you because somebody has been walking around as if they were you. So some of you have like a twin flame, a soulmate. I'm not going to say a twin flame. You have someone in your life that's a friend, family member, but for sure a lover. They've been living your life. They've swapped destinies. with. They've been living your life. And because you were unawakened and unaware, you didn't realize it. Now that you're tapping into this, you're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, y'all listen. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I cannot make this up. King of Swords. And if you see here in these particular cards, this King of Swords is a woman. Even I Isis was considered traditional. But I mean, she was a ruler of a lot. Even, even I mean, it just depends on the story that you resonate with. Even Nefertiti. These women could be considered by a lot of people very masculine. Because these were women who literally were in control of entire empires. This is a very, very, very strong, powerful women. And you may sometimes have this masculine energy, but this energy to me, it keeps jumping. But because you and a person are, are twins, you will change feminine and masculine energy. King of Swords, yeah, there's been nothing but burdens here. You've had to get through all of these burdens to get back to what was always yours. Somebody took something that was always yours, but you're supposed to be moving forward now. The plan is, the, 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 the strategy, the plan or whatever, it has backfired. The tower is here. You're demanding your throne back or you're demand, you, you want your throne back for your person, however it resonates. Yeah, so you can move on to peaceful, calm the star. Moving on to peaceful, calm waters to happiness, your destiny, victory, success. I cannot believe these cards are coming out like this. This is what you manifested. This is what was always supposed to return back to you. Your ships are coming in. This is a past life that you're meant to live that you had not tapped into and and saw or understood yet and it has been blocked because of the heartbreak the trauma the pain the suffering you could not see the truth but now look this to me makes me think of like a vision board you're starting to remember you're starting to be able to get images and rem remember who you once were you have a spirit guide an angel or ancestor that has been guiding you saying since you were a child you were always meant to be this person You've been watched, you've been monitored, but you now are able to see the truth. I'm also getting to somebody has been using remote viewing or astral traveling. They've been monitoring everything in your, in your space. That's another story for another day. <laughs> the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune. You choosing higher level teaching, learning, being guided. Is allowing this wheel to turn. King of Pentacles and the death. Somebody here who has been really, really greedy is about to experience a death. Because they've done so much shady stuff in the in the dark to try and hide your true past from you. This person has done nothing but try to confuse you by playing games with your mind. That's why the devil is here. These stories, the obvious, I would guess I was just supposed to pick up these cards. I was not planning to use these cards or do, fin do more of this reading. But someone here has played so many games with you on your mind to confuse you about who you were and who you were meant to become so that you would be left out. Because this person has actually been using your energy, your gifts, talents, and abilities to manifest for themselves. And you keep wondering what is taking so long for your manifestations to come in. Queen of Wands is a very strong, powerful manifester. 
it's taken so long, but now that you have the confidence, you get to have a brand new beginning here. And I feel like a lot of feminists, especially you're tired. You're, you're tired. This has been a lot, but you made it. Or even if, it's, if, if this is your counterpart, possibly the masculine, they're coming to you. They're going to be tired and broken down. You got to put them back together again, but y'all made it. You made it. Stress, fear, and anxiety. This is traumatic experiences, but peace, balance, harmony, yin and yang, it's all here. But this was a this took a long time. But I'm telling you, your person is coming in because you manifested this person. You have all the tools and, and resources and everything that you need to have this person and to be with this person now. And sometimes being that person that you're with is yourself. You you're not there's no more rejection or abandonment here. You're not focused on anything that didn't work out. You're not focused on what something is is you just know what to focus on. Some people is something you need to reject. Some people is something that you need to accept. You're taking a leap of faith into the unknown and you're going into love now. And because you went within, but also somebody is being watched and monitored for being aggressive and trying to take action towards you to hurt you and to harm you when you did nothing to this person. You love this person, care for this person and stayed in your energy. You're going to receive good news though. Look, here's the good news. It's a solid offer, opportunity, proposal, or whatever. You're receiving this. It's coming in to you. It's actually in motion. It may be slow, but it's in motion. Page of Cups. Something was yours from the time you, you came to this earth. It was always yours. Page of Cups, Six of Cups. This right here was you were crowned. You were given something from, from the very beginning that was supposed to allow you to sit pretty on your throne and be happy. You may have been a late bloomer showing up late to your own party because you had to start taking action. But there was so much wounding here. Yeah, look at that. So much wounding, deception, and betrayal to exhaust you on your journey, but you still fought a good fight. Some things are bittersweet, but you've awakened now. So now, yes, you are completely awakened. This is a renewal. You get to move forward, celebrate. You're no longer in a stalemate situation stuck because you mastered yourself, okay? Someone wanted you stuck. They didn't want you to see anything and they didn't want you to make a move. Someone has had you as a, a prisoner in your own mind, but you were strong enough to break out of this. I have another reading, y'all. If the empress is behind this emperor, I'm, I'm just going to go and roll down my own stairs. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to even see what's behind this emperor. You had the strength and the courage. I have a reading where I talked about people treated you like you were nothing. People threw, I think in the reading I said it was like people were feeding you dried up cat food and the whole time you were a lion. They starved you or they did this to your person. It was possible, most likely it was done to both of you. But this majestic being that you are or that your person is, Along with the energy of who you are as this goddess, you're meant to be together. Y'all, I'm I'm almost scared to see what's behind this. The emperor. Okay. Oh, four of wands. You're supposed to be with somebody and they're or or with yourself, whatever. But there's a celebration coming here. Y'all, I'm done. The emperor and the empress. When I tell you God is like here, this this was always protected. Everything that happened, it does not matter. Justice has to be served. There will be equal give and take. This is a soul contract that you have that's supposed to be extremely prosperous and abundant. It's coming into you and it's because you kept your heart open. Despite all of the instability, here is the father and the son. That's the truth. Two of wands. All you had to do is make a decision to go out on your own. To be independent. Despite everything that happened to you, you continued on your journey. Wow. You're being rewarded with everything that somebody thought they took from you. Somebody took something from you, but I'm God is saying, baby, that you had no idea you was getting crumbs compared to what this person's actually receiving. 
And whatever it is that you're birthing, this child, this business or whatever, that's where the true gift is. You're actually just a, a gateway to an even bigger gift. Somebody, they didn't know that. Somebody also, I have readings about this too. Somebody also didn't know that they was going to get caught up in this eclipse. And just looking over at this deck, it's just interesting because I pulled decks out to use that I don't normally use. Because I was trying to see, okay, you know, let me get new different messages today. But you have here toxic family. <laughs> Apology. Termination. Yeah. People are about to lose everything. This toxic family. Because somebody is crazy. They should have went to therapy when they had a chance. Because they was feeling bound. Unable to transform a level up. And was upset that you were celebrating. Because you were able to clear your mind. Like I said, someone is astral traveling, remote viewing or something like that. Jumping to conclusions. Causing all kind of altercations in your life because you have an upgrade. They wanted you to be at a fork in the road. Okay. Somebody wants, you know, New Year's is when people make um, set goals and manifestations. Somebody wanted to, there to be a death to whatever your goals were. <laughs> Someone's using uh, sex magic, spell work. They was going the wrong way, trying to lie to you and be deceitful about who they were. And this is someone that most likely you left behind and you felt like you needed to guard yourself. You probably was afraid that somebody was going to jail or something like that. Somebody here is doing black magic, though, to think that make you think that you're meant to be. OK, they're calling you stubborn when actually they're stubborn. OK, but you're purifying yourself. You're letting go of all of those submerged emotions. That you have about things that you can't control. This is why you were able to grow and see through the fog. So someone's been projecting negative energy onto you. But you're being guided still. People are getting tarot readings. doing Spreading rumors. But the truth is here. And look. Someone here. The skeletons in their closet is about to come out. And your relationship cuffing season is coming. You most likely are starting a new job, doing something new that's going to bring in more money. You heal from childish ways of codependency because this puts you at a breaking point. And real, you, you realize that it was time for you to step into your life purpose. Someone has been lying. Can't show any gratitude. You're going to have a lot to be thankful for around Christmas. Copycat energy here. Someone is caught up because you were an inspiration to them. They didn't want to work with you. They worked against you. And look at this here. Halloween stuck in the past. Mirroring. Thanksgiving. Somebody here thinks that if they don't do something for Halloween, that they're going to keep doing it even through, through Thanksgiving. Spirit said, just cleanse your space. This is, this is funny. You could be a performer or somebody. It's going to be a new view. People are going to start seeing you as some type of performer. Take a moment to reflect. Yeah, there's an evil eye being sent to you. Someone is obsessed. They could have tried to blackmail you or they're being blackmailed. Pay attention to the signs and symbols. There are blockages here, but this is soon going to come to an end. There's a lot of conflict, conflict, chaos and confusion going on. But someone is being kicked out and you're going to be getting the missing piece to a lot of situations here. You could be seeing angel numbers. But behind the scenes, what you don't know is that or someone doesn't know is that all of their access is being denied. They thought some. they believed in something that was fake. They believed in some type of false God or something that was never real. And they also believe things about you that was never real. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I mean, this, this just came over me, whatever it is. Like I said, it's heavy energy, but it's good. So just stay as positive and optimistic as you can. Always go within so that you never go without. I've been saying that since I started my channel and that's what it's all about. You have to go within to remember who you are so that nobody else can come in and try to stop, block, or, or take away anything else from you. I feel like you've already been robbed. You've been stolen from. People have tried to destroy you, but it's okay because whatever they took, I'm telling you, it, it does not compare to what you're about to receive because you're about to be given all of your stuff tenfold and you're going to get all of their portions tenfold too. Somebody had no idea that they was messing with a real one. Or they did know, but they foolishly thought that they could get away with it. Hmm. Mm -mm. Whatever they've been doing, especially if it's been successful, there will be no victory and success when it comes to you and yours.
whoever you are, whoever this child, this business is you're supposed to have, the mate that you're supposed to have, whatever is a part of your destiny, it may have been delayed, but in those delays, you learn lessons that you had to learn in order to get to where you were going. But what is yours is yours. You got to know that. Stand firmly on that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm glad I got that out, y'all. I, I think I'm actually going to go and roll myself down the stairs because I just, <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> this is like, I'm telling you, like this story has been coming out for so long, but it's like where it's the climax. It's the climax. The e these, This eclipse energy is the climax. Like everything is coming out. It's coming out and it's being wiped out. <sighs> okay. I hope that this helps someone. Always go within so that you never go without, you guys. Any information that you need will be in the description box. I love you. I love you. I love you all so much. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.